Hey there, everybody. Fat here, and welcome back to Fat Plays Rimworld Royalty 1.1. Crazy got uh, hit by a trap. A little embarrassing, but he'll live, theoretically. Slim, making really good use of that plant work. Rocking out. I mean, you probably should have gone and ate with a table, but your mood's fine, so I guess who cares? I mean, we got plenty of meat. Meat's not our problem, boys. It's okay, we are growing veggies, though. Rice is growing. Taters are tatering. Heel root, you can't eat it, but we're still making it. Well, thank goodness for the, uh, for the rain. Helping us out quite a bit here. This mask, what are you doing? Hauling. Whoa, look at her haul. Haul crazy over here. I love it. All right, now we need to increase the size of Slim and Miss Mask rooms. Yep, and then it would go like this. Yeah, and then you'd have another one like this. We might as well get that one ready right now. We may never build a room there, but... I mean, we are, because we're literally building it as I say that. But you know what I'm trying to say. All right. We're giving people more room. Okay, we got some stuff to smooth out over here. We're getting it done. Now I'm thinking what we might do is this. And then connect that right here. And then we just tear down this wall here. Have a door like here instead. I don't, I don't want it on that corner like that. Let's put it like in one more. And actually, let's put it on this side. There you go. Yeah, and then we'll uh, floor up all this. And bada bingus, bada dingus. Next thing you know, Cecil Kane's on an insulting spree because he was in the dark once. More importantly, <laughs> we'll have a spot to put all of this crap. We'll get rid of some of those zones that are over there. We'll get this stuff moved over, out of the castle, and into our hearts. Walls are going up right quick, it is. I appreciate that. Major break risk on Frank. And it's, it's, it's trying to go back up. People of Lurch have arrived. They are... There's 16 of them! Holy crap! Uh, okay. Well, Cecil, you weren't going to come into this anyway. It says they want to get around our defenses, but where are they going to go? Their only path that I can see... Oh, freaking hell. Dude! Are you freaking kidding me? We need Slim to fight! Oh my god, dude. What the hell? Ugh. Are they seriously... No, where are they going? Are you freaking kidding me? I'm sorry, what just happened? We all saw that, right? And agree that didn't make any sense? Why is there a mad donkey now? Can someone explain to me why there's a mad donkey now? Why is there suddenly a mad donkey? Who enraged the donk? Alright, thank goodness for the animals, by the way. Oh, Silvermane, great shot over here. That was actually fantastic. Nope, Hardy's down. There's the mad donk. Get him, Slim. Get him better, Slim. There you go. It got through all of that with no problem. Good lord. Okay, you guys can run away now. There they go. Okay. Let's go ahead and rest up. Allow all items. Did lose another turret, but that's basically par for the friggin' course at this point. 
Like, I know they're never going to do it because that's a whole layer of work I don't think they want to even bother with. But good lord, if they could just add some frickin' um, some Z levels to this frickin' game. You know, some north-south so that you can actually put turrets outside of melee range. That would be that would be nice. That would be cool. You know, open up another layer of strategy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Elf died. It'll affect Slim's mood, because what doesn't? Warg 3 died. Because we only have one doctor who's awake, you see. And he had to concentrate on the stallion first. Not that I'm blaming him too much for that. When did you get hit by an LMG? Uh, Miss Mask will be fine. Probably. Freaking donkey bite, man. I mean, it wasn't a bite, but still. Well, we lost a warg and a doggo. Hardy's still hanging in there, though. She is just killing it. Looks like we're going to get another warg here soon, probably, too. Frank's on a tantrum. Uh, let's teach this Labrador Retriever how to do stuff as well. I guess you could teach him how to attack, too. Uh, and Slim's on a smoke leaf binge, which doesn't bother me that much. Well, good job, dude. Now you don't have a place to sleep. I don't know why you did that. But, uh, yo. If, uh, your next bed's not as good, it ain't my fault. A lot of crap. A lot of actual garbage. We do have what we need to replace this turret over here, which is nice. You know, we got a lot of wood over here. I'm thinking we might do something like this. Just to kind of funnel them a little bit. Rebuild this section. A funnel's not going to do much here, but you could still put it up. You know, it's not funk. It's not. It might be functional. It's not practical. But it still might be functional. Or something. I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore, okay? Let's stop putting, like. Yeah, I guess animal corpses can go here. Let's stop putting people corpses there, though. Probably don't need that. Alright, how are we doing on meals? Pretty darn good still. Cecil Kane is Cecil is starving. And, uh, where are you going to eat? Oh, you're gonna feed someone else a meal first. I mean, that's. It's plenty gracious of you, I'll admit. Bunch of silver out here. Looks like we're ready to expand some rooms over here. Not the most optimal timing, but it's okay. Okay, Cecil, did you feed yourself yet? Okay, he's doing that right now, thankfully. There we go. Okay, that'll help his mood. He'll be fine. Just gonna go play some horseshoes. Okay, this room is coming up now. That's good for Bitcoin. Frank now has a new bed. It's excellent, which is great. It's actually not great. It's just excellent. But you get what I'm trying to say. Uh, let's go ahead and remove these zones. Get Start getting that stuff moved over in here for now. And then Urist... Yeah, I do want you to build those walls, but let's go ahead and deconstruct this first. Okay, thank you. And then... I'm just going to put flagstone in here. What kind of stone do we have? Granite. Uh, looks like we're getting a little bit more sandstone coming in. Tell you what. Let's do a smooth surface order, and then everything around that becomes flagstone. We have an order to constantly do... It's actually in here, so if it is, it's here. Uh, constantly do sandstone to a certain degree, right? Yeah. 
There we go. More of that, please. And then we're going to need conduits over here. Which means we're going to need to run it up this way, run it right through here. Probably go all the way around. There we go. Close enough. Doesn't need to literally be all the way around. There you go. Now we built that little section. Built that little section. It's not the most important thing in the world. But it's reasonably okay on the important scale. Whatever that means. A heat wave. Oh, frig. Well, if we got a heat wave going on, we're going to need some passive coolers. <sighs> Which are expensive. And we're a little low on wood. So, let's chop down some wood! Wow, we're not going to be low on wood for long. Holy cow! Okay, we need wood, and we need passive coolers. So, everyone's room gets a passive cooler. For now. Even if I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. There we go. Okay. It's 30 degrees outside. Hiya. Oh, yeah. Now in here, it's still negative 9. Yo, that room is holding. That's the most important room. So I don't know if I can complain too much. I mean, I can, but I won't. Maybe. <laughs> no, that's awesome. I expected that room to be uh, gonzo. Ugh, even at night, it's too hot. Rebuffed by Mystic. Ooh. Well, you gave it a try. Sorry it didn't work out. Observed corpses. That's not great. That's going to go away in an hour. Right? Oop. There we go. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, they do go away while they sleep. Or at least they deteriorate. There we go. A little bit more down. Not too bad. You're gonna be okay. We're all gonna be okay. Eventually. Right, we're gonna have to check some of these temperatures in the morning. Hello, raccoon. How you doing? Welcome to the colony. I guess. Attack raccoon it is. You ready for a rack attack, boys? It's coming! That's right. Put down that stinky sandstone flagstone and then get these things moved over. All right. Perfection of a sort. Probably end up putting a light over here, too, for reasons. Uh, definitely won't need a heater over here yet. But we'll move one over anyway. It doesn't take much power when it's on low, so it's fine. So it's 37C in the day. I still have people rocking parkas. Which, to be fair, it's forced on you. Take it off first. Keep the ruffle shirt. Do we have an extra duster? Doesn't look like we do. We have make duster orders that are completed, so... Oh, shoot. No, no, no. I do want you to put this here. So we have some duster somewhere. First, go put on a nice duster. When you get a chance. Okay. Once we get all that moved out, we will join these walls together and turn this into a rec room. And this place is almost ready to become a hospital. It already has the blood in it. <laughs> what else do you need? What else says hospital than a little bit of blood? <laughs> Don't answer that. Or do if you're feeling it. Yeah, I don't think we're going to lend out a colonist right now. Not when we're about to make the most monumental changes White Spoo has ever seen. Mystic, don't go crazy right now. We need your rice! Uh, but maybe take off the parka. And maybe put on a... Dusta. Alright. 
Okay, Miss Mask is still wearing a parka. No, she's wearing a flak jacket. Get it right, Thet. Sorry. Okay, he can handle up to 43 now, so he shouldn't be too hot. Frank's still wearing a parka. Should really just make a friggin' outfit policy for uh, super warm and not so warm. That'd probably be the smart thing to do. Seems a little annoying. Like work or something, but... Eh. New outfit. Heat wave. Alright. Allow all. Uh, let's not wear tainted apparel. Just kind of as a thing. Psy focus clothing. Well, that's new to me. Neat. Dusters, yes. Parkas, no. Alright. And then for headgear... No toques, but definitely cowboy hats. Alright, that's really the only change. So yeah, for now... Except with the exception of... Urist, everyone else is on heat wave for the moment. We'll clear forced. Okay. Frank's taking off that parka. And he's off doing other things. Living his life. There he goes. Making more dusters. Nice alpaca wool duster he's got on now. Anyway, that's going to help out a bit. Uh, heat stroke on Miss Mask is obviously not good. She's going to go work on it, but dude, I need that duster done as soon as possible, probably. Uh, can we get... Did we get more wood? We are out of wood. What happened to our wood? What did the rest of our wood go to? Fueling? What did I miss? <laughs> Cause we need... We need a passive cooler. Also, this thing has no electricity. It is not connected. We lost connection. At least that's fixable. <sighs> Okay, medium psychic drone. Great. Cool. I love it. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to need more wood. Because, you know, we need to open this spot up. We're going to do that. And then, you know what? Actually, this is going to be a door, I think. Actually, you know what? They'll both be doors. Yeah. Two ways into the rec room. And this is now ready for a hospital, but... We need wood for that. We need wood for a lot of things. I'm expecting a lot of breaks here in a little bit. Because that is a pretty friggin' terrible psychic drone. A medium one is kind of harsh. Alright. Well, at least she doesn't have heat stroke right this minute. Mystic trying to do some harvesting. It's not going that well. Slim trying to do some taming. Apparently someone cooked a, a simple meal not very well. Dude. We need to put, stop putting in orders for a while. Food binge on this mask. Because uh, everyone... Not everyone. The opposite problem. No one is doing enough in terms of cleaning. But at the same time, we also need to hunt. So hunt everything that's at a 0% for now. And then maybe hunt a yak. Just for gits and shiggles. This was probably unnecessary. But you know, it helps the room look a little better. It's already at negative 17. It's way up there, dude. And eventually we could use a proper, uh... I honestly thought you were going to hit the Mega Sloth by accident. Um... Eventually we'll need a light in here. 
Silvermane in a daze. Of course, he just interrupts his hunting out of nowhere. Seems normal. Okay. We can bust all this down. This will help give us a little bit more wood as well. All right. Heat wave's over. That's going to help a little bit with the mood, but damn it, dude. Oh my god, you have so many negative moods. Wait. You're psychically dull. Did the psychic... When did that end? I missed that. I totally missed the alert for that. Alright, I'm not complaining. I just missed it, you know? I think we're going to need another battery here, too. Oh, no, we need wood. That's right, we just need wood. We literally just need wood. Gift from Hendler? They give us 36 uranium? Why? Also, Gallagher's landed here. He's an enemy from the nutty to spoilers. Uh, chemical interest, body purist, misogynist. He sounds terrible. Even though he's a pretty good cook, he doesn't do cleaning, so I don't think I want him. Alright. More deconstruction got done, which is nice. So I guess with the heat wave over, we don't need these anymore. Good job, passive coolers. You did your, wor did your work. That's a joke, because we never got them put up, you see. I'm going to want to wood up the rest of this area. And then... We just need wood. Honestly, we just need more wood at this point. Okay, I think we're at the point where we have too many animals. Because Slim is spending all of his time with animals and not spending any time, as much time as I'd like, with the plants. So, I'm going to get rid of... Wait, wait, wait. Is this the only male sheep we have? It is. Wow. Okay, we'll get rid of some of the ewes then. Yeah, just get rid of a couple of these. Um, We'll get rid of the cougar. And then get rid of the raccoon. Yeah, we don't need an attack coon. But anyway, things are getting moved. Uh, this is probably not where we should be keeping that stuff at this point. Hmm. We're not keeping that out of here on purpose, right? Oh yeah, we are apparently. Yeah, we can put we can put that stuff in here. Whoops. <laughs> That was my bad. Okay, yeah, get rid of some of those animals. Slim did some harvesting. He did some butchering. We still aren't getting wood yet, but we're getting other stuff done. Slim is also at a minor break risk. Partially because his animal friend died, also because he's in minor pain. But he's living, though. He ain't dead yet. All right, Mystic. Making pemmican? Appreciated. Make this first, though. Make meat is what I'm trying to get at. Thank you. Okay. We got meat. Yes, we do. We got meat. How about you? Um, what are you grabbing? A wabbit? Hey, more warg. Two more warg! Adorbs. Alright. Machine, or medicine. That's the second time I've called it machine, I think. Medicine production. Nice. Could probably use fire foam as a a thing to know. I stopped growing smoke leaf a while ago, too. Probably a good idea to have some again, considering where some of our moods have gone. Okay. Silvermane is no longer wandering in a psychotic state. It's 
pretty great. Now they, the dude can, you know, feed himself. Mood's going way up. EMI field for play. A machine persona in an orbiting ship wants to perform some planetary experiments. However, he's concerned about getting in trouble with the ethical review board. Um, he wants to blast us with an EMI field. Shutting down electrical devices for 15 days. That's a whole day. I mean, we would get two side trainers. What the hell is an aesthetic shaper? Coagulator sounds cool. Det detoxifier stomach. I guess I could find out what these are down here. So, Manhunter Pulse. Uh, let's see. One dose of Mech Knights with a specific side cast. Drive nearby animals into a manhunting rage using a psychic pulse. I mean, neat. Level of six, so we wouldn't even be able to legally use it. Uh, focus. Focus is the target's mind, boosting their sight, hearing, and movement capabilities. Hmm. Okay. Coagulator. Install a coagulator. Thank you. Uh, releases coagulating factors in response to blood loss, reducing bleed rate significantly. Neat. Halves the bleed rate. The toxifier stomach. Artificial stomach replacement with a broad spectrum toxin filter and neutralization system allows the user to eat almost anything without ever worrying about food poisoning. Well, that's pretty cool. That's pretty darn cool. An aesthetic shaper. Sophisticated package of hormonal and mechanite influences shapes the muscles and fat on the body, adding non-functional aesthetic tissue where needed to achieve, to achieve a desired appearance. This implant can be configured to form various body shapes according to the user's taste or that of their partner. So it adds beauty to the person. Okay. Sure. That's... Not creepy at all. Also some jade, silver, and plasteel. I mean, that's a lot of really good things. Dude, two free cows is awesome. That's awesome. That's free food. Um, how long do we have the... 4.2 days. I don't know, man. 15 days with no technology? In the middle of summer, when we need the cooler technology, I don't think that's going to work. I mean, some of the things we get out of it are pretty cool, but we'd we lose all of our food. I don't know, man. I don't want to lose all my food. That should be a reasonable thing to say. You really need to get the wood cutting going. I might put more people on plant cut to make sure that happens. Okay, but at least we have space now for our rec room. We're going to have a dedicated one. Might move these things in there just to make that happen. And then we're going to build a little hospital right here. So things are definitely improving for White Spoo. Are they exactly where I want to be yet? No, not really. But we got forward momentum, and that's what's important. That's going to be it for this episode of that Plays RimWorld Royalty. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, subscribe for more. This is going to keep coming. It probably won't stop coming. I don't know about this quest, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm considering it, but I'm a little iffy against it. Thanks again for watching this episode of that Plays RimWorld Royalty. My name is Thet, and I'll see you in the next video.